Brent, when I am driving down the freeway, there's nothing I like better than just kind of cruising along, take my foot off the gas. Now, back in 56, couldn't really do that, right? You just had to keep your foot on the gas. I don't know control was actually invented. Yeah, we should look that up. I bet we could Google that. Let's Google that. Google knows everything. But we can sort of invent it for this car, yeah, right? Absolutely. It's one of the absolutely. amazing things is that there's almost any upgrade that you can do to these vehicles. And uh, we've got a kit here from Dakota Digital that's going to allow us to get cruise control on the 56. Right. So give us a little bit of a where we're going with this thing. Well, <clears throat> I mean, it's there's a lot of parts to it. Um, little parts. It's kind of. It doesn't seem to be too complicated to install, but it's kind of going to be putsy. I'm Got to pay attention. Um, this is the this is the uh, servo motor that actually takes a signal from the, All the speed input. sensor. Yep, and tells it, okay, I want you to hold the throttle right here. They gave us a whole bag of goodies. I won't go as far as to say that they thought of every conceivable application, but man, I tell you what, you could hook this up to. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're working on a Chrysler or a Ford or a Chevy. I mean, they, there's all kinds of different connections that we're going to be able to make to the carburetor. Um, you can even, there's even instructions to, to hook it to the throttle, the actual gas pedal. So, so they've thought of a lot of different scenarios. Um, so it's basically just mount that box, use the hardware to attach the cable to the carburetor, and then mount the, um, the switch that controls it inside the car and then wire it in. It'll be just that easy. Be, yeah. We'll be cruising in no time. Yeah. Well, one of the things we also, in addition to the kit itself we're talking about today, is just a little bit of a touch on Dakota Digital itself. We're talking about a cruise control kit today, but having a look here at their webpage, you can see that in addition to cruise control, there are a variety of other things that they offer. And again, like we always talk about, if you've got one of these vehicles in your garage, having a look at these upgrades really opens your brain up about all the different things that oh, you can yeah. do kits like this that are available from companies like Dakota Digital. So that's an overview, and I think we're ready to uh, get under the vehicle first, right? Sure. All right. Good place to start.